All right, what's up everybody? I gotta tell you, I am like more fired up than I have ever been in a long time to go fishing because I'm about to get an education today. So I've been fishing a lot, a lot, a lot of years out of South Florida here, but what I'm holding in my hand here to my left is something that I have never personally done before. So we're gonna get offshore. I got to my right, Mr. Mike Calabrese, owner and inventor of this product right here, Fire Tails. To my left, I got the legendary Captain Artsap. We're on board his boat, Native Son. This guy knows a thing or two about dredge fishing himself. And we are headed outside Hillsborough Inlet. We've got our first front of the year. Humidity's down, we got a light north wind, we got bait on the beach. And we are gonna drag these dredges We've got some beautiful bionic baits that we've got mixed up, a mixture of medium, small, horse ballyhoo for the dredges. And we're gonna go try and get tight and some billfish, some dollies, and whatever else we can find. All right, this guy was about to take off on me to the tower. I said, not, not so fast, my friend. We got to explain what we're doing here. So we're off Del Rey. We're in 140 foot of water. We got our two Jim Lux uh, dredge boom rods, which I'm so fired up to see how these bad boys work. We got the LP rods, right? We got what, 500 pound braid on these bad boys. We got two dredge here, dredges here. You got what, two electrics? up in the tower bridge teasers that bridge teasers that we're going to be pulling these daisy chains of squid so they'll see it on camera but how are we fishing what are we doing what's the plan so forever it's been a big boat game the dredge fishing thing and a few companies came out with these dredge booms to allow the center, center consoles to get to do this sort of thing this time of year you know it's a little early for traditional sailfish season here in september but this time of year the ballyhoo start to show up and a lot of sails and a lot of mahi show up in here on the edge and we even caught the black tunas and stuff so the thought was they're eating the ballyhoos we're going to swim ballyhoos for baits we ought to be able to get some sail bites in here doing that so we deploy our dredges like they would up to the north for the sailfish deal and see if we can't make something happen down here okay great water good condition so how many um so we'll have the two dredge rods we'll have the two bridge teasers how many rods are we going to fish Traditionally, you'll fish two flats, two rigger baits, and a lot of guys hate it. I love it. I love a shotgun bait, send it way the hell back there, and you know, winging a prayer bite. And it's amazing how many fish you catch on it. So we'll four to five rods. Yeah, with a light wind like this, we'll probably be able to fit that thing in there. All right, stay tuned because I'm I am bound to screw something up, <laughs> and I've got a, I've got a crew full of other guys that I know are going to be in that same boat. So we're about to have some fun. Uh, all right we got two uh we got two rigger baits out two squid chains in the water and the dredges are about to go in these are the workhorses of the day so what are how are we setting this up and show right. these guys how this dredge boom works yep so we got our dredge boom we got it tied forward because our swivel rod holder we don't want it to turn back and as you can see here the line leaves the dredge the lp through a big pulley where it goes out, goes through another small pulley, and this is actually what we're gonna to connect to the dredge. And it returns back to the dredge boom. So basically what we've made here is an A-frame pulley system, which lightens the load on the reel, lightens the load on all your connections, and makes retrieving the dredge. And it put, does it put more of the load on the strength of the center strength of the rod? Correct, yeah, that's why that pulley's in the middle there. Right. Um, okay. And it makes, it makes retrieval a lot easier on your equipment. All right, so, let's get this bad boy we do in here, the water. We have this little pulley that goes, this actually rides in the water, and we're gonna connect this to our fish weight. And we're pretty much ready to go. This is our dredge. We got, we got the red for that fire tail. Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. So, <clears throat> when we set the dredge in the water, we just wanna make sure everything's not tangled and everything's nice and ready and clean and we want to set it in nice and easy. What I'm doing here is I'm just picking up the slack so I have everything tight, ready to deploy, and we're going to back off our drag on our LP, just a nice, not free spool, but a nice little bit of drag, and we're going to set this thing in the water real nice and easy. And let her go. Add a little drag as we're going out. You don't want to completely dump it. How far back are you going to fish that, Mike? Uh, typically, we're going to fish about 
150 on the LP reel, which is half the distance. So that's about 75 feet that's behind the boat. That's 150 revolutions yeah. on like the display? So depending on you know size of the boat, center consoles will fish it a little closer. Um, and that distance is cut in half naturally because of the A-frame. What did you say the distance is again? Uh, 90. 90, and so that's yeah. 90 revolutions on the yeah, reel it's, it's it displays just, on the screen? It's just finding that happy spot based on your particular boat and spread and prop wash. Um, okay. You know, anywhere from 90 revolutions out to 150, but uh, that's up to up to the, the crew yeah. and yep. Now how Something deep how deep will this, Mike, how deep will this dredge fish under the surface of the water? Uh, about 10 feet probably. Yeah, okay. Depending on your speed and the size of your fish weight. Once we get our dredge set, we're actually gonna go ahead and retrieve it again and hang it, and we're gonna zero the reel out uh, for the sake of automated retrieval. And we will zero it out. That way when we press auto retrieve, it stops automatically there hanging out of the water, doesn't get tangled in any of our fish on the line. So once again, when we set our dredge, we're just gonna be careful, not set it too fast, or and just set it on in the water. We're gonna zero it out now? No, we'll, we'll, we'll set the dredge in and then we'll bring it in, make sure it's all good. You can pick up the slack. And once again, when we set it, we just wanna make sure everything's good. All right, we're gonna go to a little light drag, light drag. Lighter than that, all right, here we go. There she goes. Right he said the right one only, so he's probably just going to turn to that side. Something little. A little blacky. How about that? First fish of the day, a little tuner. Oh, he's got a lure on there. The key with this is you got to start small because you can always go up from there. You know, I mean, if this thing was a 50 pound yellowfin, you it's hard to go anywhere from there. Saving this guy? Chris, so get your bait, just kind of, or Jamie's got the bait, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the bait. Oh, fuck. Ow! What the fuck was that? I got cut off. Wahoo? <laughs> just had a, we just had a Wahoo come up right behind the right squid chain. He's going to eat something else, probably. We're not Wahoo fishing, so when you have 40 pound fluorocarbon on a, uh, a Ballyhoo. Oh, you got blue up on. I got him. What happened? For now, watch that chain, get that chain. Get that dredge too. Oh, Kuda. Kuda. <laughs> All right, well, it's a toothy uh, species. Is the Kuda in the uh, the Wahoo family? The spotted Wahoo? So, spotted Wahoo. Hey, he attacked like a Wahoo. action and excitement, nevertheless. And that's what we're here for. Decided to slide offshore, see if we could pull some dredges around and maybe get into some dolphin. It's cruising, enjoying a nice cold beer, and all of a sudden my neck snap, neck snap back. Cat Mar had the thing wide open throttle. I was like, I guess he saw something. Fish on. A 
collar for the cooler. Yeah, you see him already right there. So to retie. We got him. Somebody want to bring that? You just stay in the corner here, Art. We've been chasing around a decent uh, dolphin on a warbird here. He's been zoned in on the flyers, haven't been able to get him to pick up these valleys, so Art got frustrated and said, cast a livey in the back. I don't think it's the same fish, but we're tight on a, definitely a better fish. Best one we've hooked so far. Got the, uh, got Randy Towel's custom rod. Mike, grab me that pick gaff. Yep. Well done. Nice fish. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah. What do you think? Probably six, seven pounds, eight pounds? Yeah, eight pounder. We'll take him. Let me get something. To, we'll just put him in the box real quick. Let me get something to cut with. Oh! Got him. He wasn't Whippa! coming off. Whippa! Sushi dinner. Zero. Okay. All right, man. So we're we're right back here. End of the day, where we started. Always like to make sure we come back. Good thing. On, our, on, our, on our own power. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, obviously I was on the boat. Super great learning experience for me, Art and Mike. And hopefully you guys who have, if you're watching this video and you've had an interest in learning how to pull dredges, rig dredges, rig baits for dredge fishing. I mean, we've covered a lot of it today as well as some tips and tricks videos that um, we're gonna say, we're gonna have out shortly after this video. So cool. what do you guys think? I mean, I know obviously we, you know. Didn't get a billfish bite. Yeah, right. Good but, but we still had some dollies. We had uh, the, kudas, the kudas, tunas, the zero, yellow jack. And listen, this, this video was really more about the demonstration of, of how it's done with guys like you that are very experienced. We knew going into this that it was probably, it was it's, early. it's early. You know, the sailfish really aren't here for this kind of stuff yet, but it'll be a future video that we do in the next couple of months in January when the bite really starts to crank up. We can put these dredges in the water and get some bites. So you have that to look forward to. Um, other than that, you want to check this guy out uh, online. We'll have the website uh, in the description below. Uh, Firetails is it Firetails.com? Firetails.com. Artificial and dredge baits and dredges. There is no better guy running charters out of Hillsborough Inlet than this guy in Native Sun Charters. We will have a link to his website as well down below if you ever want to book a charter with Captain Art. Live bait, trolling. Yeah, if you want to try to do this stuff, he gets them. Yeah, sword fishing. He can do it all. So. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you for the next Fish Blue Water video.